If you are a Laravel developer and want to build the desktop application, you don't need to learn the new technology. PHP native support this functionality. So now question arises, what is PHP native? So if you will open this native php.com, which is the official documentation of that. And here you can see this native PHP is a new framework for rapidly building rich native desktop application using PHP. It means native PHP is a framework which is used to build the desktop application. So previously you are you were using uh, C Sharp, Java and other languages to build the desktop application. But now PHP native have this support to build the desktop application. So if I uh, open here, this one is our task manager, which is our desktop application. So you can build your application like this using this PHP native and it's a great because it will create more opportunities for the PHP and Laravel developers. Now, what now question arises that we need to learn a lot of things, right? But don't worry, you don't need to learn nothing. Native PHP is not completely new framework that you need to learn. It builds on top of an incredible ecosystem that Laravel provides. Before using native PHP, you want to be similar with the web application using Laravel. So it means if you are a Laravel developer, you don't need to learn uh, learn the new technology. And uh, now I'll come to the front-end framework. Native PHP is not a GUI framework. We don't want to tell you how to build app. You can use uh, your toolkit like uh, React. You can use Vue, Livewire, Inertia, plain HTML, CSS you got it, it doesn't matter. You can use any of these front-end framework, right? It means that you are open to uh, customize your desktop application. <clears throat> okay, now let's install our first application. So just click on this installation. And for this purposes, you need a Laravel application. So I'm going to install a fresh installation of Laravel. And currently the latest version of Laravel is Laravel 12, but this PHP native in the beta mode. So this is not compatible with the Laravel 12. So you need to install it within the Laravel 11. So I'm going to install the Laravel 11 application. So Laravel slash Laravel. And then I'm going to say desktop app. And then here I'm going to specify my Laravel version. I'm going to specify, oops, uh, let me enter this. Okay, it's now going to pull the Laravel 11 for me. And yes, it's pulling the Laravel 11. So when it will be successfully installed, so I'll come back and then install the PHP native. Okay, now Laravel installed successfully. So I'm going, I'm going to navigate to that directory, which is uh, desktop uh, app. Okay, now I'm inside that directory. And here I'm going to install this native PHP. So what are the requirements of installation? So first, your PHP must be 8.1 or higher than that. Then Laravel 10 or higher than that, but make sure it's not Laravel 12 currently at that moment when I'm shooting this video. And then Node.js 20. So currently I have Node.js 20.08 something. And then your Windows should be 10 or higher than 10 and also Mac, Macintosh and something. Okay. So how you can install that? So the command is very simple, this one. So just enter this composer, uh, composer native PHP, and then you need to type here, uh, native PHP electron, yes, electron, hit enter. So this will pull this native PHP. Uh, okay, electron. A native PHP come oh my god I forgot this require I'm checking that I did any spelling mistake but it's not basically I missed this require keyword okay it's now uh, pulling this from the github repository and then generating file for us uh, next command is you need to run this native install first we pull that and now we need to install this right so after successful completion of this we will run this native install Okay, it's almost completed. And yes, now we can run this. Uh, let me make it a bit more bigger for you. PHP artisan uh, native install. 
and yes it's installing this out let me add this to the top here would you like to install the native php dependencies yes i want to it will take a bit time and uh, after that you need to move further here and uh, this command is mentioned to run the serve but it's not it doesn't work directly first you need to go to the next tab where you need to uh, here you need to run the composer command and this one is already configured so we don't need to run anything so here it's telling you that you need to run this out but first time it doesn't work uh, here when you run this composer native dev so then it will ask you to first install the npm or first install the wait right so currently it's installing that and yes it's uh, asking it again right so you need to allow it twice time okay now it's asking me the window security alert permissions so we need to allow this so then this will be installed it's basically granting permission from your system okay now this one is tall and we need to run this command composer native dev right um, if you will run this it will throw that uh, your wheat is not defined so first install the npm so then this will provide the uh, get it from the node package manager and uh, basically it's going to install the npm dependencies and then we will run uh, npm run dev or we can also run the npm run build npm run build i'm going to run this out because i don't want to run this uh, in every time in the terminal so that's why i run this npm run build and now i'm going to run this uh, composer this command basically this one composer native dev so this will run your application native dev hit enter and it will open your application and it's configuring it now wait for a minute and boom it's going to open it in a minute no it's not open yet but it will be open in a minute and yes it's almost going to open wait for a minute and yes our laravel application is here in the desktop mode you can close this out and you can see this now this one is our laravel application which is open in a window right you can see this here if i open my taskbar you can see this now this one is uh, open as a desktop application right this one so here you can navigate back to the laravel laravel official site you have these by default to functionalities which is a file option view and so on things so in this way you can build your desktop application and uh, you can provide you can get more benefit from the php so by using the php you can build the web application and desktop application both i hope you like that video and if you like that please share your feedback and also tell me that how it's uh, useful for us uh, in how many perspective you are thinking that you can build the applications now so cheer up guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye